Hello guys, uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. Uh, we are about to start our program. A few minutes to start our program, guys. Uh, maybe we can give some more room for other people to join us before we officially, before we officially start. If you are here for the first time, this is how we run our mentorship program. This is how we run our mentorship program. And uh, and uh, if you if you have not yet subscribed for the mentorship program, this is your chance, guys. This is your chance to do so because. Uh, from tomorrow, we are not going to allow anyone who has not paid to, 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 to be with us here. So make sure, make sure, that, make sure that you guys uh, have paid for the mentorship. It's very cheap. In fact, it's cheaper than, uh, than anything, uh, than, 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 than anything that you can imagine. You see, if a mentorship program is just run by 12 USD, 12 USD per month, you see, it's not per week, 12 USD, 25 T shillings, 25,000 T shillings per month. It's very cheap, guys, it's very cheap. Uh, you cannot even imagine, it's very cheap. There are people out there, there are mentors out there who provide that service, uh, you, you, you pay up like 500 USD per month to get an access in their, in their uh, mentorship or services. So we are just doing this, uh, the cheapest price, so that to accommodate, to accommodate as many people as possible. So please guys, this is your chance. This is your chance. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, my target is to, to, to reach as many people as possible with this program so that they may have a proper knowledge uh, concerning forest market. All right. Maybe we can give some more room for other people to join us before we, we officially start. Some, more, uh, some few minutes, guys. If you can hear me, Please write something on the chat page, if you can hear me clearly. Write something on the chat page so that I may know that we are together, guys. So that I may know we are together. All right. If you can hear, you can hear me, yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. We'll give some more room. Some more room for other people to join us. Some more room, maybe two minutes. Two minutes for some other people to join us, guys. Okay, guys. Um, a 
think we can now uh, start. We cannot wait anymore. We can now start, we can now begin. Uh, all right, until now, we have already covered uh, uh, the issue concerning support, resistance, market chart patterns. Uh, we have covered the issue concerning uh, candlestick patterns, uh, trending market, ranging market. We have already covered all those parts. Support and resistance, how to draw support and resistance, how to use exponential moving average, 200 exponential moving average to identify support and resistance and how to apply it uh, uh, to, uh, to apply it in the forex market in order to see an opportunity and to trade as many opportunities that you can uh, come across in the forex market. We, 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 we also covered uh, trending market and ranging market, how to, to identify a trending market and how to draw trend line, how to properly draw a trend line, uh, and also how to identify ranging market and how to properly uh, uh, draw it and and use uh, and, and and trade uh, uh, and a trading range market in a proper way. We also cover the issue concerning uh, candlestick patterns. So far, we have discussed two important candlestick patterns, and I think those two are the mostly powerful candlestick patterns that I can say. There are so many others, but. Uh, my, my program just focused on two, pin bar and doge candlestick pattern. Pin bar and doge candlestick pattern. And we also, we also learned how to, how to use those candlestick patterns in combination with other confirmation. Remember, we cannot just trade, uh, we cannot just rely on candlestick patterns uh, for, for trading because these candlestick patterns are the additional confirmation of an opportunity you see in the market, the additional confirmation, you see? So it's very important to understand that, guys, because we do not just use one evidence or one, one criteria to take a trade in the market. We have to combine or to collect as many evidences as possible before we decide to take any trade in the Forex market. So that's very important. That's very important for everybody and everyone to understand. Now, today we are just taking another step ahead. We are going to discuss, uh, we're going now to, 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 to the second part of our, our, of our program, uh, that is advanced, advanced training or advanced mentorship program, where we start with market makers codes. I know guys, you have already gone through market makers codes through my YouTube channel, and most of you already know what it means by market makers codes and how to, uh, to use it. But today, this one is a revised version, a revised version of market makers course. You know, there are uh, always modification in the uh, trading strategy that we are using in the forex market. And today, uh, after, after trading with market makers codes for some times now, I came to uh, notice that there are some gaps, there are some things that, that need to be covered. So I have added some more steps, some more important things on this strategy that will make this strategy very powerful, very powerful than you can imagine. So this is very important, guys. It's, a, uh, it's, it's something that you don't need to miss. It's something that you need to, to, to pay attention so that you can understand. And if you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask a question. That is very important. You know, I'm a teacher by profession. So I need you guys to ask as many questions as possible. I need you guys to, to be with me. If you are not with me, then my job here is, 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 is nothing. So I, I, I want to make sure that, I, I want to be sure that you guys follow up and you are always, you're always with me. Now, let's go back to the introduction of, of, of this. Let's go back to the introduction of this. Market makers codes. Remember last time we discussed a little bit about it. Uh, now we need to go back to, the, to it again and see some modification that you have made there. You see, some people keep on asking, what is MMC? 
MMC is a short term of market makers codes. So when we say market makers code, it's just a combination of some market indicators and other technical setup of market within a period of either. Now this is a this is a modification. Remember last time when we discussed about the market makers codes, we just focused on 10 days. But this time around, not only 10 days, guys, 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. When we talk of 10 days, it's very clear. 20 days means one month. 40 days means two months. Why 20 days stand for one month? Because if we know that forex market is, uh, is 24 hours five. So if forex market is 24 hours five means in a month, we have the market operating in 20 days, excluding weekends. So 20 days represent a month period of the, uh, of the of, uh, uh, month period of the market. Four days stand for two months. So in today's presentation, our focus will be on 10 days, just as we discussed the last time. But under 10 days, there are some issues, some things that you are going to discuss that are very peculiar, that are very unique compared to the to the to, to the to the last presentation or the previous videos that I posted here. So guys, <clears throat> why are we looking on, on, on this period of 10 days, 20 days, 40 days? This is in order to, uh, to, to give a clear direction of the market in the future, to understand, to get the clear direction of the market in the future. So we are looking at the market within a period of 10 days or 20 days or 40 days. So if we start with 10 days today, that means tomorrow, we we'll just look on uh, 20 days, and the day of tomorrow, we we'll just look on 40 days. So you need to understand how to, uh, to look at the market under 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. Because why 20 days and not only 10 days? Why 40 days and not only 10 days? Because I have come to realize that there are extension. Sometimes the dealers, decide to extend the market, to extend the trend uh, before correction, before market correction, even of a period of 10 days. So the dealers can decide to move in one direction of the market in more than 10 days, more than one month, up to two months, even more than that. But we are not just going to that because that one is for positional trader. But since we are intraday trader and swing trader, we may decide to stick on this one, which is very essential for us. So this combination makes it possible to, to identify sell zones, buy zones of the dealers or the, of the market, market makers, or some people refer to them as market movers or liquidity provider and so on and so forth. Now, how to set up market makers codes? How to set up MLC? First and foremost, as we discussed in our previous video, we're just going to use the 15 minutes time frame. But also, in addition, in addition, now we are going to also make use of four hours time frame. 15 minutes time frame with four hours time frame. That's very important. And we are going to learn how to use the 15 minutes time frame and the four hours time frame. Number two, number two. Use the vertical line to mark the market in the past 10 days, 20 days, 40, or the, you mark the market within the period of 10 days, 20 days, or 40 days. It depends. You're looking at the market under, under, under how many days. If 10 days, that means you will use vertical line to mark or to put the demarcation within that period of time. Now, number three, use horizontal line to mark the high, the high and low, the high and low, or the high or low, and the second high or low. So use the result line to mark the high, the highest price reach, the lowest price reach, and the second highest price reach, and the second lowest price reach. Don't worry about that. I'll come to explain it, and I'll come to clarify it when we go to the real stuff. Number four, apply 833 stochastic. This is very clear. Uh, this is for the purpose of uh, overbought, oversold, and so on and so forth. So it's very important. Number five, 
If possible, apply a confirmation training line on your chat. Not all setup will just give you a uh, uh, confirmation training line because uh, there will be some variation in the chat. But uh, if possible, you can see how to apply. So guys, these are the things that you are going to use and those are the very important stuff. Now, if we go to the real stuff now, if we go to the real stuff, uh, let me share this screen here. Okay, sorry. This is not the one I want to share. Yeah, this one. Okay, this is what I, want, I wanted to share, guys. Okay, uh, let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. Okay. Okay, see? Guys, this is uh, this is this is what this is uh, euro out, euro out. Now you have your euro out there, and uh, as I said, today today our our program or our presentation will just deal will just deal uh, 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 at looking at the market on looking at the market within a period of ten days, within a period of 10 days guys and see what the market is doing within that period of time within that period of time that's very important now if you have you are you appear just like that how now do you how now do you apply market maker scores how now do you put market maker scores in that it's very important it's very very important guys now please follow me carefully follow me carefully and make sure you are not left behind Okay, number one thing, number one thing that you need to understand is to, 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 uh, to put a period separator, to put a period separator on your chart. You see the, 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 the chart, the MetaTrader 4 here, the chart has got a, a grids everywhere. So what we are going to do, we are going to remove the grids and put period separator. The period separator is very important because it helps us to count days, to easily count days. So what are we going to do here now? You just right click, just right click. You are here on your chart. After you are there, right click. When you right click, just go to the properties down there. When you are at the properties, what you do, you just remove that show grid. You just remove a show grid, then you you, 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 you put a tick on show period separator. You, you see this one, guys? Show period separator. After that, then you click OK. So you are, you are there now. Now, from one hour, from any, from any time frame that you, you were when you were, you were now trying to put this period separator, you just now go to 15 minutes time frame. Just go to 15 minutes time frame and condense this chart make sure you condense that chart just like that just like that why are we condensing because uh, if you expand this just like that you can see it's very hard for you to count this but if you condense you just see the period separator in a very clear way you can see period separator in a very clear way now what is the purpose of this period separator remember today guys is is uh, is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, and maybe I should uh, I should speak this. This is very very important. Uh, when using market makers calls, when using market makers calls, guys, we do our analysis. Or our analysis, uh, we we have to focus from the period when the market closed on Friday. Let's say now it's Tuesday. So we count the days from the, from the, 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 the closure of the market on Friday back. So we count 10 days from Friday, from Friday when the market closed. And that's why using market makers calls, we normally do our analysis during weekend. Why weekend? Because the market is already closed. So there is nothing that has already that has already appeared after the closing of the market. So we just, we just, uh, 
uh, use that opportunity to analyze the market within the past 10 days so that we can now predict or anticipate what the market will be doing in the coming 10 days. <laughs> so what now? Every single, uh, every single separator here represents one day, which means this one here represented Tuesday. So this is, remember this is 15 minutes time frame. So whatever the market that was, uh, has been doing today is represented by these stuffs here. So this, the candles you see within this period is separate here, uh, everything that has been happened today. Now, let's go back. The second, the, 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 this one represents Monday market. This one represents Monday market again. It's very important for you to notice that. So this one now represents Friday market. So the market closed is somewhere here. So you take your horizontal line, you put the demarcation from where the market closed. See, so this is Monday, this is Tuesday. So this was Friday when the market closed. So we put a horizontal uh, a vertical line here to separate, to separate or to, uh, to, 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 to make it clear for us to count 10 days back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you take another vertical line just put there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So looking at this, guys, looking at this now, this is what the market was doing within a period of 10 days back from Friday, from when the market closed on Friday. So, so this is to say that the past 10, 10 days, the market was on what? On uptrend. You see what I mean, guys? The past 10 days, the market was on uptrend and there was no room for correction. There was no room for correction. The market didn't do any kind of correction within the past 10 days. So the market was what? The market was on uptrend. You see what I mean, guys? This is very important. So you, just, you can just remove that one. Now, the next step. The next step now is to identify the highest point reached by the market within 10 days. The highest point reached by the market within 10 days, you can see the highest point. This was uptrend. So the highest point reached by the market was obvious, this one there. So take horizontal, you just mark the highest point reached by the market within 10 days. Within 10 days, guys, that's very clear. Now, and mark, take your horizontal line all, uh, again, mark the lowest point reached by the market within 10 days. The lowest point was reached this one, the lowest price. Of course, we're not talking about uh, point, we're talking about price. The lowest price, price reached by the market within 10 days, past 10 days of this one. So just take your horizontal line and you just put it there. So we have the highest price reached by the market within the past 10 days and the lowest price reached by the market within the past 10 days. Now, what the next, the, next the next stage? The next stage is identify the second highest price reached by the market within those 10 days. So you can see uh, this one we can regard it as the highest, but this one, next one, is like that one, or the one here, because it has uh, have a lot of touches. This, 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 you can regard that one as the second, at the second highest price. In fact, we, we, we mean a second, a second high. Uh, the second law, we can regard this one here as the second law. So, what do we have? So right now, we have this area. You can see the demarcation. You can see the demarcation, that area, and this here. Now, 
the, the, this area, which represents the highest and the second highest, and the, the area which represents the lowest and the second lowest, the highest and the second highest uh, give us what we call demand zone. This was a demand zone. This was a demand zone. And this one here give us what we call, uh, of, sorry, this is not a demand zone because this is a supply, this is a resistance. This is a supply zone. Sorry guys, I don't want to mislead you. This is a supply zone because we expect a bearish market to form this point. This now here, down here, is a demand zone. Why? Uh, the market uh, uh, started to buy from this, from, this, from this zone. So the bullish market started from this lowest price here, then it went up, up to this point. See guys? So for, for somebody, for somebody who knew how to take a look at this market, for somebody who knew how to use uh, market makers codes, just on Monday, when the market opened, there was no more question. There was no more questions. Why? Because the market, the market was just moving now from the supply zone, from the bearish zone, from the sell zone. You could now take your trade confidently. And until now, you could be how many pips? About 100 pips. You could have already made 100 pips in euro hour. But because you didn't know about market makers calls, maybe you didn't see this opportunity. But right now, guys, from this moment onwards, when we finish this, make sure you have no mess for any broker. Show no mess for any broker out there. Why? Because this is powerful, guys. What I'm about to tell you is something that is going to change your life and the life of your family and, 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 and the life of every single member in your family. This is very important, guys. Now, let's look at this once again. You see, we have a sell zone, which is we call bearish zone at this point. This demarcation you see up there and this one here is what? Is what we refer to as, uh, is what we refer to as what? As a sell zone. So this is a sell zone. That is a sell zone. The one that is represented by the highest and the second highest. Then we have this one down here. This one down here is a bullish um, uh, buy zone. It's a buy zone, guys. Let's represent it with uh, a real blue one. Yes. So we have sell zone and we have buy zone. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this case. You see, this one here was an uh, uptrend. See, this was an uptrend. Let me add. See. See, guys. So, how now? How now do you find the entry? How now do you find the entry? So, you see this is an uptrend, so this is a trend line. You can see the market made a breakout, made a breakout out of sell zone. Not only sell zone, it also made a breakout on this trend line. It was a true breakout because we had a retest there. A true breakout and retest, then boom. See what happened, guys? So, when you see something like this, when you see a breakout out of the sales zone, the market is no longer inside this zone. It's outside this sales zone. And we had, this is a confirmation trend line. We call this a confirmation trend line. We have the market making a breakout on the confirmation trend line. The market already made a breakout on the confirmation trend line. And the retest. After that, you just take a trend confidently you can even apply five lot size you know guys 
this this is, is is something that you need to understand because sometimes you might think i'm crazy i'm not crazy i know what i'm telling you why because this golden opportunity never come twice this golden opportunity never come twice there are times when market makers calls will not work on uh, under 10 days so when you find an opportunity under 10 days you kill it that's why I have to teach you under 10 days, under 20 days, under 40 days. Why? Because sometimes you might not see opportunity under 10 days, but you will have an opportunity under 20 days. Sometimes no opportunity under 20 days, but you have an opportunity under 40 days. So that, that's why you need to understand everything about this so that you, 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 you may make, make a decent money uh, uh, in, this, in this market. So you see what I mean, guys? Now you kill it after that. You kill it. That's what I mean. Now, we need to put some more setup here. We need to put some other setup here because it's very important. Uh, before we put stochastic, let's put, uh, let's put uh, uh, what? A moving average. Let's put a moving average. Okay. We have five moving average. This is exponential. Uh, it's close. Exponential moving average. Five exponential moving average is the one that moves with the market. It moves with the market. So after that, we put another one. Uh, put another one. Let's see. This is 50. So we have five and 50 moving average. Five and 50 moving average. Now, how do we use, how do we use now, how, how do we apply, how do we apply five and 50 moving average? When you see the cross, when you see the market is already outside of this sale zone and the five moving average has already crossed the over, has already, has already crossed the over 50 moving average. You can see, Five has already crossed over five, uh, 50 moving average here. Just after this close, it's an indicator that the market is going to drop. You see? So once you see that one, you confirm your trade. You, you wait for pullback on this confirmation trend line, then the market, boom, fall down. You see? It's a very important, guys. It's another confirmation. So let's put another setup, another setup, the last one. The last one. The last one. Uh, This is 833, it's already there. So I just click uh, OK. I just click OK there. And uh, you can see here, guys, you can see when the market was just there at this point. You see just when the market was here. You see this point? The market was near to about, it was just near to about. So when you see all this confirmation and you see the market is just near to overbought or is overbought, it might be both, near overbought or overbought. So uh, it's an indicator that you can now take a trade on a bearish, bearish market. But this one here, you may decide to include it, but uh, it's not very important compared to this moving average up there confirmation trend line, this one here, and uh, the zone, the zone. Not only that, just look at the zone. Do you see the kind of pattern formed at the zone? You see triple top. So this is an extra confirmation, an extra evidence that this market is going to sell. So we had a triple top, triple top, uh, triple top here at the sale zone, telling you that the, market, the previous trend is now exhausted and the market is about to reverse. So you might see a triple top there, but if we expand this, if we expand this, you may also see some other confirmation, some other confirmation, guys. You might see some other confirmation there. Uh, like uh, you can see the pin bar, you can see the doji and the pin bar formed there. So those are the confirmation. 
uh, the confirmation that the market is about to. So when you see, when you see the market has formed a reversal, a reversal pattern, triple top. You see the market is at sell zone. You see the market, the, the uh, five moving average has already crossed over 50 moving average. Guys, what are you waiting for? What exactly are you waiting for? You know, you just need to take a trade confidently. Remember what I told you yesterday. If you trade without analysis, if you decided to trade without analysis, you will end up losing a lot of money in the forex market. But if you understand clearly, if you understand clearly how to use this, this one will help you guys. Let me change something on this one. I want to change something on this, on this still of eight. Let me try to put, uh, uh, okay, this is, uh, I want to try to put something here. I want to try to use 14 instead of 8 so that I can see how clear it becomes. It's not yet going as I want it. Okay. But you can decide to take it off. Take it off. Don't worry about this because it won't change anything. So, guys, so far, so far, now, if now you have taken your trade, you know, since you have already started about five bonus and so on, so you, 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 you just navigate, you just navigate the market just as you like. Because this five bonus uh, retracement is an extra part that helps you to understand the targets. You see the market struggled a little bit at 23.6 because this was a five bonus level. That means there was support there. And you can see the market bounced on 38.2 Fibonacci level. That means there is support there. But you can also see, you can also see that the market still has a, a, a way down. Has also uh, uh, the market still have a potential to keep moving down, at least up to this level, 50. Because we are making correction of the previous trend. Remember, on 15 minutes time frame is a, a clear trend. You can see a clear trend. So the market, when the market make this kind of move, uh, be sure that the market will come and make some correction in the near future. So this is what we expect. I expect uh, the market to make some correction down here. I expect the market to make some correction uh, at least at least 50 percent of this movement of the previous movement. The market has to correct at least 50% of this movement. So uh, we have this clear movement down here before the market continues with an uptrend. You see what I mean, guys? So this is the focus. This is the focus. It's the most important thing that you need to consider when you're trading under 10 days. So this, this, this is how things happen to me. Now, let's, talk, let's, let's take a look at this. So in order for you uh, not to draw every time, let me show you how to save your template. In order for you not to draw every time when you go into your chart, what you do, you can decide to save this template. You just right click, just right click. Then you go to template. Then you go to template and you go to save template. Uh, once you are there, so you decided to save your template uh, just like this MMC, uh, maybe revised. See, just like that. So when I come to another pair, let's take a look. Let's take another example on on this. So you can see right now. You can see right now. When I take another pair, uh, when I take another pair, so I go to the template, the one I saved, the MMC revised, yes. and I just click there, just appear. Then I remove this, I just remove this. So the demarcation, I don't need to put demarcation or to put the uh, uh, moving average because I, 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 just, I just use my uh, safety template 
to make it appear in any chart that I open. So you can see now, in this case, we have what? We have, we have Audi USD. And you can also see that this Audi USD, uh, the demarcation, you can see the vertical line that you can see uh, exactly in the, in, in the past 10 days from, the market, from when the market closed on Friday. So if you count 10 days back, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten days back. Now, what you do now, you just put, you just, you just put the, you just locate the highest price, price reached by the market within ten days, the first ten days, and the second highest, the second highest. You might regard that one as the second highest, and uh, the, the the lowest price, this one here. You can see this one here, guys. And the second, the second what? The second lowest, that one. So you can see Audi USD, uh, Audi USD. This was, uh, this was what? This, this one here down here was a buy zone. This one here is a buy zone, uh, buy, buy zone. And uh, uh, this one here, uh, the one up there, the one up there is a sell zone, is a sell zone. See guys, it's very clear guys, it's very clear. Yani, this strategy is very simple if you understand it and you see yourself making money. And you'll find me one day, you find me one day when you start making uh, good money out of this, you find me one day to thank me. I tell you guys. So what I'm showing you right now is something that's very powerful. Something that's very powerful. You see guys, this was now a downtrend. You can see how DSD was a downtrend. Why am I sure this was a downtrend? You can see the market was making this kind of move. See guys, uh, we do not have a very clear one here, but you can see it was a downtrend. It was a downtrend. If we consider this chart, that one, and this one, two, three. See, if you consider that one and this one here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this was it. Now you can see the market, the market uh, made a breakout out of what? Buy zone, made a breakout out of the buy zone. You can see the market also here. If you, if you can take a closer look at this one, you can see the market made a breakout on this confirmation trend line, then a retest, then up, up, then you can see, uh, you can see now the market is trying to come back to do some retest here. So for someone who is uh, who who wants to buy out USD, I could I could advise you to wait a little bit because the market has to come and do some some retest here, some retest on this uh, buy zone, uh, then up. So what I expect on this out USD is the market to come back some retest there, then, then up. So guys, you can see, you, if you understand how the market moves, you, you can see uh, closely, you can see clearly what the dealers are doing in the market. You can see clearly what the dealers are doing, even before they do it. You just see it, you just see it, guys. So it's very important, it's very, very important for you to, to consider that, very important for you guys to consider that because once you know once you know that it will help you it will help you uh, to see a lot of opportunities in the forex market now you can see now uh, five moving average five moving average you can see the market uh, five moving average crossed over crossed over uh, 50, 50 moving average just here once you saw that kind of cross, the returns on the confirmation trend line, then you could take your trade outside this box. Make sure, guys, your trade will always be outside this box. Don't take a trade within this box. Take a trade outside this box. See, guys, it's very important. Another confirmation, you can see the market created just something like a double, uh, double bottom here. You see this, guys? The market created, created something like double bottom. 
there. You can see this kind of stuffs. Then, boom. Then, see this movement. See, guys? So we had W pattern down here. So that is another confirmation. So you take, you, you take a look at the cross of five moving average over, of course, this is not simple moving average, it's exponential moving average. So five exponential moving average crossing over 50 exponential moving average. Then you, you wait for the retest on this zone. Then you take a trade after the retest. That's very important, guys. So this, this is what I expect. This is what I expect. And this is what I expect you guys to understand when you, uh, you trade uh, forex market under, under market maker scores. So that's very powerful. All right, let me see another example. So you can see guys, this is very, very clear. This is very, very clear. Now, the most important question is, what do you do when you come across a trade that doesn't actually show you a clear, a clear zone, a clear buy zone, a clear sell zone? You don't see it clearly. Hmm? Let, 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 let me say, let's let just take an example. Let's, let's just take an example. Wow. Uh, let's, take, let's just take an example of any pair. All right. Let me first see something here. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, no. Take a look at something before we before we proceed. Okay, guys. All right, all right. Now let's just take a look at let's just take a look at at something. Uh, maybe USD JPY. See, guys. This USD JPY was uh, was clear. It was clear, so you could see it. Uh, this one also, Euro GBP uh, is a wonderful opportunity for for bullish market. So, guys, just focus on this. You can see, you can see it there. That was the lowest price, the highest price, the second highest price. Then, boom, I expect a bullish market here. So we are in for, for a buy. It's not a big buy, it's just a small buy because this is not a very uh, huge place, huge, huge distance, just a few pips. I wanted to show you something. Uh, if you come across a pair that doesn't give you a clear, no clearance, and you don't see a clear, a clear picture. Mm -hmm. You don't see a clear picture. Let's say something like this. Maybe you have Euro Swiss franc here. You can see it's just this was Monday. This is Tuesday. Now let's let, let, let's say that you are now trading today. You're not trading today. You can see the market has already reached. It. The market is already uh, has already reached it. this. It's already the market is now playing at the market is just playing at uh, around the buy zone. See guys, and once it makes once it makes a breakout below the buy zone, it's another stuff, guys. It's another thing. So you have to understand these things. You, you need to understand these things. Uh, if the market made a breakout below uh, below what? Below the buy zone, that the op the, 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 the other direction. Instead of buying, now it keeps on selling. So you just wait for retest on this uh, buy zone. Now, after re retest this buy zone, in the next week we change into a sell zone, not, not no longer a buy zone, because the market will be down, 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 down. So guys, you need to understand those stuff. You need to understand those stuff. I was just looking for something. Uh, okay, this is also clear. This is also clear. You see, your SD card, your SD card has to go to a bank. So you see, guys, almost almost every setup that we are looking at under under this strategy is working. 
almost every setup that we are looking at under this set, uh, under this strategy is working. You see, your SD card is now moving from bearish zone. It's now, it's now moving from sell zone. You see what it's doing right now? Selling, guys. It's selling. So don't be surprised why it's, why your SD card is selling. It's selling because it's now from sell zone. It has been it has been buying for past ten days. So the market cannot just keep buying because the market might collapse. So you need to understand. You have to look at 20, 10 days, 20 days, two months. The market cannot just keep on buying or selling for two months. It has to go, to go back. So that's why you need to understand the, the zones, the areas. You see, guys, you can even take this trade right now because it keeps running right now, making money. So you see, while, while you see market makers cause, you don't need even to draw the, the, the color and so on and so forth. You just need to, to mark the area to understand where is the highest price, the second highest, where is the lowest price, and what is the trend line, what is the trend, the previous trend of the market. So the previous trend was this one. So what direction do I take? So you just decide in your safe. Get to the end into the market, make money. You see what I mean, guys? It's very important, guys, for you to understand this. Once you understand this, wow. The world will be a better place for you to live in. Now, before I proceed further, may I receive some questions? May I receive some questions before I proceed further? Are we clear, guys, on that? Does it make sense to you? I want to get some feedback here. Does it make sense to you guys? Hello, please write something on the chat page. Does this make sense to you guys? Does this make sense to you? This is market makers calls, and this is how we trade in the forest market. Really? Yes, if you have any question, please, uh, uh, you can ask your question. Mr. Erodi, you are having a question. Let me, let, let, me, let me give you an access. Let me give you an access, please. Just wait for a few minutes, uh, Mr. Herod. Mm -hmm. Mr. Herod, you can now talk. Mr. Herod. Hello, Mr. Herod, you can now ask your question. You are free to ask. Mr. Arshad, no question. Mr. Herod is just, he wants to ask a question. Uh, do you have a question, Mr. Herod? Hello? Hello? Yes, you can ask your question, Harold. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this, please? Mr. Aiden. Mr. Mr. Aiden. Yes, Mr. Aiden, you can go on. Please ask your question. Okay, uh, thank you very much for the lesson. Yes. Uh, my question is, um, is um, uh, is it only 10 days? We can set only 10 past days or you can just put more than 10 days back? Yeah, you know, so if, the, you, if you were with me, where... if we were together from the beginning, if we were together from the start, I started by explaining that in this program, we are going to take yes. a look at the market under 10 days, 20 days, 40 days. So today, we have just yes. started with 10 days. Tomorrow, oh, okay. we'll just discuss, we'll just see how we can take a look on the market under 20 days. The day after tomorrow, we just finish up with 40 days. Then after we wind up, up, uh, after we wind up that session, we'll now, we'll now go through a lot of examples and we are, we are going to share a lot of analysis uh, uh, using market makers course. So for the time being, let's focus on 10 days, brother. Oh, okay, thank you very much. And uh, can I ask another question? Yes, you can ask it, please. Yes, uh, my, my, okay, another question is about uh, the moving averages. Yes. 
I have a very little idea about moving average. Uh, sometimes uh, we can set eight, let's say like eight uh, moving average, 14 moving average. Um, last time I went through your, your video, it was a MMM market maker switch strategy. On that, uh, on that strategy, you were using uh, 20 moving average and uh, 50 moving average. I want to know the difference because today you used eight, eight and uh, ten. Yeah, we 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 come to cover when we reach. Uh, you know, this program is uh, this program is on progress. We have a lot of things to cover. You see, okay, this program okay. will take about three months. Not only a single day. We cannot cover everything in a single day. So we, we have a long way to go because under mentorship program. And that's why I'm insisting for people to subscribe in the mentorship class. Why? I'm not here to okay. take your money, guys. If I was here to take your money, I could not accept 12 USD, 25,000 tissues. You know what I do? I train people for 500 USD. 500 USD, five days. Five days, they pay 500 USD. You see what I mean? But I'm giving my time to you guys so that I may share what I know with you because I want to create a community out there. I want to have people out there who really know exactly what they are doing in the forest market. And I know my brothers and my sisters, a lot of people right now, they do not have employment. So I, 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 I'm creating this opportunity for you guys so that you may, you may see opportunity in the forest market. That's why I'm giving myself I'm giving this, this. I'm giving myself uh, this time so that I may uh, direct you in some important issues to understand in the forex market. So, in fact, this what I'm doing here is like it's like doing a mini, uh, doing a charity, a charity activities or just giving out. I'm just giving away. So this is very important for you guys to understand. But you can see some other people are still struggling with forex market and yet they don't want to learn. It's very important. So my brother Aidan, we have a long program in this. We are going to cover a lot of stuff. Let's not, let's not talk about moving average right now. We're just talking about market maker scores. We are just eating market maker scores. Once we are done with the market maker scores, we'll just shift into another stuff. Any other question, please? Uh, Mr. Brovias Kamugisha is asking a very important question. How can we trade those pairs which closes on Friday in the middle of the trend, meaning that those pairs which do not close either at demand or a supply zone? Okay. If a, a trade closes somewhere at the middle, that means that means at the middle of the trend, that means it already started the trend which means it has to finish the trend. So what you do, you just consider the previous, uh, previous, uh, uh, the previous momentum of the market or the previous trend of the market that gave direction to the current trend and see if the current trend has already finished its, its, its movement to the either buy zone or sell zone. If it has not reached either a buy zone or sell zone, you might consider to, 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 to take the same direction until it reaches the, 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 the critical areas or the, the either buy zone or sell zone. Mr. Bovius, are we together, together on that? Let, let, let me show some examples here. Let me show some examples here. You see USDJPY. This is this is USDJPY. The past ten days were well, this. This were the past ten days. See, guys. You see the market here was on Monday. Here was what on Friday. The market closed somewhere there. See, this was uh, lowest price, the second lowest, the highest, the second highest. So guys, it's very important. So the market closed somewhere here, which means it closed somewhere at the, at the middle. It closed on Friday here. 
but it, 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 it didn't finish this. It didn't finish this. It didn't reach at this word, at this abyssal. And that's why you see on Monday, it kept on pushing down. Tuesday, today, pushed down. And now, it's, it's, it's now just near the abyssal. So you see how magic this is. Very powerful, guys. Very powerful, I tell you. It's very powerful, I tell you, guys. So this is how you do things. So this market has had to finish. Remember, it, it is now from the sell zone. It went down. It reached at this point, at this point, and it closed somewhere to the middle. It has not yet reached to the what at the buy zone. So, so it has to finish the race before uh, changing direction. I think we are together on that, Mr. Kamukishi. Thank you. Any other question, guys? You see, we do not have so many stops today. We do not have many things today. We do not have so many things today because I don't want to exhaust you guys. Any other question? If we do not have question, today we will not go further from here. We'll just end up here today. And what I want to see, guys, what I want to see now, I want to see you guys sharing as many analysis as many charts as possible using what you have already started here in all groups mentorship groups global market groups anywhere where you are share your analysis because when i see your analysis and i see any mistake in that analysis i'll be able to correct you but you if you just keep quiet it will be very hard for me to correct you Mr. Larry is asking, what about the pair start the week with gaps? Don't worry about the gaps. Don't worry about the gaps. Just play with the rules. Just play with the rules. The rules tells you to, 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 to take a look at the market the past 10 days, identify sell zone, buy zone. You see? Then you just, you, you just follow the rules. If the market has already made a breakout out of the zone and you see it, Confirmation, you take a trade. Don't worry about the gaps. The gaps are always there. Do we have extra question, guys, before I end up this meeting? Extra question. Remember, if you have been here today and if you want to benefit more, if you want to benefit more, make sure to subscribe because tomorrow it's going to be very powerful. What I'm going to share tomorrow is something that you have never seen anywhere before because this strategy is not something you can find elsewhere. It's, the something, it's something that you can find only here because I am the author of this. I created this. I innovated this. So I know what I'm saying, guys. So this is the only place that you can find this thing. Yeah, Mr. Yamusan is trying to ask you, last time you used 5 and 50. What is the difference with this 5 and 50? You see, last time I, I just used the 5 and 50 and 15, and 15 but uh, this one is very clear because uh, when you see a cross of 5 over 50, it gives us a more strong, a strong confirmation or strong assurance compared to 515 because 515, they are very close. But 550, at least they are somehow uh, far from each other. So sometimes 515, you might see a crossover very soon, just within the, the, the zone. But 550, you see there are some, 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 some sort of accuracy in, in, uh, in, the issue of, in the issue of crossing over each year. So once you see five crossing over 50, it's a very good indicator that, that the market will take that direction. So it's very important for you guys to consider. Thank you guys. God bless you. See you tomorrow. It's going to be very wonderful, powerful. You don't need to miss this one. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.